Welcome back to more of Let's Play EG. My name is Bright Roar, and this is Sector 4 Trust. So a couple of tips from Dan there. But anyways, this is Sector 4, like I said, and it is all about the Taz and Shredder. Now what's the Taz and Shredder, you might ask? Well, you're about to find out a lot sooner than you might expect. But first things first, we've got to clear out this room of Tazin. Got to collect all that nano and ammunition, it's pretty important stuff. So with that D taken care of, we're going to drop on down this lift. And this door right here can normally only be opened through a terminal. However, if your crack is level 6 or higher, you can directly bypass that and create a little shortcut. Saves a nice bit of time. Now, if you've ever played Mega Man X2, which I hope you have, you're going to get some vibes right here. Meet the Tazen Shredder. And it is what you think it is. A kick and rad hover bike. You can fire any weapon off of it, make some sweet jumps. Unfortunately, you can't pop any wheelies, however, you do have the ability to just plain run over enemies. The Shredder is definitely one of my favorite things about the game. I think they're pretty cool, has a lot of variety, and it's generally just fun to dip around in. Unfortunately, this is one of the only Shredder battles in the game, if not the only. But we will be seeing the Shredder pop up about every two sectors, so you won't miss it. And of course, it's beautifully animated, extremely fluid. I could stare at that turning animation all day, Just so damn pretty. So if anybody thought the game was starting to take itself a little too seriously, well, that logbook there is for you. Now, like Dan said, we've got to activate these two terminals to get past these locked doors. And we're going to collect a couple of goodies on our way. Of course, we're going to have to deal with this Tazan Elite first, and I honestly wish I had gone with a spread rocket instead. But I wanted to try and use my buster gun on him, and unfortunately, ended up running out of ammo, and then blasting myself on my own rocket. Pretty big blunder right there, but that's okay, I'm just gonna keep on rolling. So you'll notice that the Taz and Elite are becoming a lot more common, and that's a thing that's gonna continue as we progress through the game gonna see a whole lot more of them. And of course the general strategy remains the same. Just wail on them with whatever you got. Try and not uh let them attack you. They're tough, but not that tough. So while that terminal is right there we want to head up this ventilation shaft first so we can collect another one of Maya's ribbons.
So Dan is still kind of a dick, but as we're learning, he does have his reasons, and we're going to continue to learn about them as that subplot develops. Now let's head on up here, like I said, the terminal is right there. Go ahead and activate that, and blast through this wall. This leads us to some nano, and is the path to the supercharge. We gotta put our shredder skills to the test, which involves just holding the left button. And there's your supercharge. Pretty easy to collect. And we're gonna go ahead and upgrade Taz into level 10. That gets us a special trait. Special traits are earned every time you upgrade a stat to level 10. Some are good, some are pretty bad. This one's kind of okay. But the real reason we did that was to pick up the MPFB Devastator. And as you've seen in the past, it is indeed a devastating weapon. In fact, it's one of the best in the game. It's not quite game-breaking, but it's very close to it. And you're about to see it in action very shortly. So let's go ahead and give this MPFB Devastator a little bit of a test run. Very nice. Works just like I expected. The Devastator does a base damage of 9, which essentially means nothing can stand in our way at this point. It's really just that good of a weapon. The faster you can pick it up, the better off you are. So we're going to try it all a couple more times while we go activate this Tasm Reactor. Now, there was a logbook telling us that there would be a trap hidden for anybody who tries to activate that Tasm Reactor right there. Uh, we didn't read it, but of course I've played this game a many, many a times, so this chump right here thinks he's going to get the jump on me. Well, guess not. So now that we have the Devastator, I'm going to start dropping points into Assimilate so we can start picking up more ammo. Getting a little scarce at this point. Genocide, huh? It's a pretty strong word. Maybe the Kamado motives aren't quite what they seem. Of course, it's just door after door in Sector 4, but uh, the only thing standing here between us and the end of the sector are these three scouts. And of course, they don't put out much resistance. Alrighty, and with that terminal activated, the end of the sector is in sight. Thanks for watching, I hope you'll come back for Sector 5. I'm Bright Roar, and I will see you later.